Welcome back to my Let's Play for Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories and my female run. And this time we're going to be taking on the Desert Shrine. I don't have any new equips for this place, but you know, with Mystical Sand at my side, you know, I have a 2600 beater because I get a power up from the Wasteland. You? You're Prince Lobo. I'm amazed you've made even this far. Too bad. You'll never leave here alive. <laughs> Man, he's pretentious. That's my line, man. I'm gonna bury you in this desert. With my children's trading cards. Ah, shoot. This is a crappy opening hand. The worst. Okay, not literally the worst, but it's pretty bad. That was a brick. I hate bricks. <laughs> Hopefully, my next card will be better. Well, he doesn't have anything that can take that on. That's pretty sad. And irritating, because that's either a really powerful defensive wall, or he just drew nothing effectively. I'll try it. Yeah, he drew a labyrinth wall. Gosh darn it. <sighs> I'm not sure how I'm going to pierce that. <sighs> Great. Even with this, I can't do anything to it. I hate waiting around for equip cards. Saturn, maybe? Thank you. Ah, stop my attack. Well, that's only delaying the inevitable. Though I probably should put Nekogon number two into defense mode there. After all, I'm asking him to blow it up. Ooh, a mammoth. Okay, so I can get another one on the field. Gosh darn it. Why is this deck currently just bricking me constantly? I don't need Neko Cowls, I need rocks and equip cards. Well, I might as well blow this up first. The wall ain't going anywhere after all. Great, another trap card. Well, this would do it for now. Hopefully it's fake trap and not like invisible wire or something. Okay. Apparently I'm still free to do what I want. Well, might as well blow away as many of his life points as possible. Even if it leaves me open to being counterattacked somewhat, I don't care at this point. <sighs> ah, Mystical Sand yourself, eh? Well, no. Let's do it. And another 3100 beater. <laughs> Jeez. This was a tough one. I kept bricking so gosh darn hard. <sighs> the RNG gosses were not pleased with me. Sometimes, you know, they just have to try and screw you over. And this was one of those times. <sighs> Anthrosaurus? Wait, that's a dinosaur. Haha! -ha! Well. That's a thing. Let's move on. <laughs> he sometimes plays dinosaur cards, actually. Every now and again. Well, you did. Now for the throat slitting. <laughs> Every time I see this, I have to ask, who designed this? Seriously. I've never seen an outfit that was so phallic in my life. I mean, I thought Seymour's design was bad, but at least he didn't have, you know shoulder D 
D's going for them. And that head's pretty far, like, too. Like, who designed that? And they're like, yeah, that, this is a great idea. Like, like, seriously? Take it away. It's too many. You're making my cards nervous. Okay. Yeah, that'd make something and screw me over. Okay. If we fuse those together, they'd make, um, Mystical Elf, potentially, probably. Or they'd make Dark Witch. And if they made Dark Witch, I'd be boned, so I figured I'd go with Mystical Sand. Hopefully that's a okay-ish opening move. Well, it's enough to make him play defensively. I just don't know what he put there. I could do Nakagawa number two with an equip card. So if I use this, I'll make like Celtic Warrior, which would just, you know, be pointless. Well, let's see. Go with Jupiter, I guess. Oh, it's Dark Magician? He has a broody Dark Magician? Who does he think he is? The Pharaoh? Only the Pharaoh's allowed to play the Dark Magician. It's like some unwritten rule somewhere. How dare you! And he has Summon Skull, too? And he has all the cool cards. It's not fair. Well, guess we're gonna have to whip him into submission. That's what you get when you touch the Summon Skull and Dark Magician. I gotta whip ya. Well, now, what's our next move? Nothing, gotcha. Well, we'll drop you on the field. Two Dark Magicians? Man, does he think he's Arcana or something? I mean, that guy had three of them. First, he didn't have a clue what Dark Magician Girl was. Which is kind of weird for a master of the Dark Magician archetype. Yep, you with right, Geki. The thunder of the gods smite thee. Thor is most displeased with you. Did you use the Blade Dark Magician? You should have used the Celtic Guardian. Now that would have worked. <laughs> The desert claims me this day. Yeah, it does. And your weird shoulder pads. Seriously, get that stuff out of here. And never bring it back. Well, that'll do for this episode. Next time, I'll go after one of the other shrines. So I want to take those one at a time, because some of these shrines have access to more powerful cards than others. And with some of these, they also use Twin Eyed Thunder Dragon and, you know, have a tactical advantage over me because they can drop something with over 3300 attack points right from the get go. So I need some better equip cards before I go after them. Next one will probably be the Meadow Shrine, to be honest, since I don't have to worry about that as much, I think, though. I think they sometimes play perfectly Ultimate Great Moth here, which would suck if they dropped it. Till next time, then. See ya.